Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. The current value of XRP is around 49 cents. Seems to be staying put at this rate, huh guys? Still consolidating around the $30,000 range, Bitcoin could soon experience a significant uptick or downturn. Let's have a look. But see what 49 cents bought you from Baba Klux, XRP. Just what are the odds? On this, the year's brightest day, everything is scheduled to cost 49 cents. Relax and observe what happens, fellas. Exactly 49 cents is. That's 49 times 10, 11, and 13. Right. If you do the math. Isn't that strange? Absolutely, gentlemen. All charts must be modified in this way, right? In particular, the significant assets. Guys, it's time to face facts. Now. Here we enter the XRP community's entertaining phase. This is actually pretty fascinating. Simply incredible. How confident I am. Guys, I'm having trouble breathing. A individual with ties to Frankfurt, Germany, Mr. Pool as Mr. Pool of the Year, 2020, will show you. Right. The video for today features numerous connections and deltas. If you want today's video to go over well, you'll need to pay attention. I value it greatly as well. After that, we'll head down here. Authorized by Christine Lagarde. I just read her tweet and I can't believe it. It was great to finally meet Michael Esper, the Vice Chair for Supervision at the Federal Reserve in Frankfurt. What is this, fellas? Hold on a second. Here's why that's totally bonkers, despite how insignificant it seems right now, gentlemen, this is huge. I can already tell that I'm going to enjoy it. But the ex Ripple advisor has a meeting with Lagarde. Right? French and the head of the European Central Bank's presidency. Just this. Isn't that strange? Who is this mysterious individual, exactly? Barr, a former advisor at Ripple, is Biden's pick to head the Federal Reserve. A former member of the Ripple team. Right. Now he's meeting with Christine Lagarde, the Fed's resident owl of wisdom. It's safe to assume that ECB head Christine Lagarde is familiar with XRP. We're talking about the European Central Bank's president when we say ECB. Right. The government's bankers. Obviously, XRP is connected to everything here. I still can't believe that to be honest with you. Hold on a second. What? Reverse L or reverse F? What I mean is that. That just occurred right now. Right. Is Lagarde the letter to use? I don't know. But the insanity persists. This is a totally bonkers link, you guys. Both Ripple and the Owl were very tired. Right on the first day of London. Wow. How likely is that, you guys? Right. Today is check this out, and if we have time, we'll chat a little bit about the timetable. The 22nd of June is right on the pound, people. Um. Really, you guys, this is fascinating. Also, he's affiliated with the Federal Reserve or something. Christine Lagarde herself mentioned the Fed in a tweet and tagged them. Right. Everything revolves around the Fed, dudes. Let's ponder that for a moment. Okay? The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve. That would be the Fed right now. We're about to enter the unexpectedly brilliant new, so buckle up. The Federal Reserve Board, Fed, launched like the Titanic out of nowhere. Also, does it conclude with it? Hmm no. So tell me, why does this all fit together? Right. Look at this. JP Morgan backed the Titanic's construction and then abruptly cancelled his planned trip hours before the ship was set to set sail. Now, three of the world's richest individuals, all of whom were opposed to the establishment of the Federal Reserve Bank, occurred to be invited on his trip abroad. Right. And now this has occurred, which is why we're bringing up the Titanic. Holy is God. And yet. Surely, though, Raidlers are a hoax. 
You'd have to be living in a fantasy world right now to believe that Raidlers are real. Look at this for Mr. Pool, guys. 6, 1620. 20 a what? A youngster, a Delta Gas only three years old. In light of this, obviously. Once did the Titan subset sail? Today, June 16th. The MV Polar Prince, a research and expedition vessel, set sail from St. John's, Newfoundland to embark on the Titanic voyage. Wow, men. So. This information has just leaked out. And you can see the Titanic, so you know it's popular. I only found out about this maybe two days ago. I think it's safe to assume that you're already aware of it. Just what is going on, anyway? It would appear that there was an expedition sent to find the men from the Titanic. A submarine also sailed away. On June 16, which 616? I just don't know, guys. Right. The Titanic is completely occupied. Let's tell the truth about the overweight males right now, because we see this individual right now. This individual appears to have been a passenger on the submarine. The submarine, guys. The World Economic Forum member, then. This, though, is rather odd. Why? Since no one will admit that there is a passenger on this sub, I will inquire if you plan on leaving in a week. Not Hillary, fellas. Right. I guess this explains why there's so much discussion of corruption. This is why we gave you advance notice. It stated that three of the world's wealthiest men opposed the Federal Reserve's establishment. Chance upon an invitation. The Titanic, too. Right. What exactly did sink the Titanic, by the way? Yes, it sank us. But keep in mind that JP Morgan backed the Titanic's construction and then cancelled his trip hours before it was set to leave. How likely is it that all of above would occur? Right. It's not a coincidence, guys. This would explain why some have speculated that this whole thing was orchestrated in advance, right? Dismantle it. There are, as you can see, quite a few requirements right now. The description is included below in case any of you are interested in learning more about it. Three billionaires aboard the doomed Titanic were planning to bring down the Federal Reserve, as legend has it. This must be a lucky coincidence. I have no idea. Right. Exactly. Guys, what is going on here is beyond incomprehensible. Sure, everyone talks about JP Morgan, but who else comes to mind? You do realize that JP Morgan underwrote the Titanic's construction back then, right? Justin, after inadvertently deleting 47 million banking records, the SEC provides funding to JP Morgan. This is too good to be true, and yet here we are. The corruption at JP Morgan is so pervasive that success is impossible. What's more, you know what? Everyone who works in a central bank is, right? These massive, well-known organizations are all correct. It's all irrelevant. Here's the thing. To what extent is this true? So, you folks think Rebel is compromised, too? Right. Let's give it some thought, after all, we know that Rebel has entered the monetary system as it stands right now. Right. And they plan to affect change from the inside out. Does that imply that they, too, are tainted? I have no idea. You all have to tell me in the feedback section. However, this is completely insane, because. After JP Morgan made a mistake, the SEC issued a fine. You can count on the fact that this was not a fluke on anyone's part. It was clearly a well-executed, deliberate plan. We removed 47 million bank accounts. So. Groups that dealt with retail banking were disbanded. What were they thinking? Right. Corruption is rampant, that much is obvious. Why? Given that it provides access to Eastgate. Bigger than Enron is Eastgate. Greater than the infamous Bernie Madoff. And story published in Forbes in 2016 details how JP Morgan once again came under suspicion for alleged misconduct. 
guys, I really don't know. Which, if you ask me, is really peculiar. Why is Madoff shelling out over $63.30 million in fines, anyway? Primary in charge. Cutler, Stefan. Who? Who do you think he now serves? Simpson. Thatcher. Glass. What do you think he was writing to? Laws enforcing S.E.C. Wright. Chief Mark Berger comes next. Can you guess who he reports to? Thatcher and Simpson. Why does J.P. Morgan seem to be the only company with a second? Not guilty Ethereum. Right. Who do you think it is? Guess. Who are you trying to fool, exactly? The director who did it is currently employed by Simpson. Thatcher. If Gates is like Madoff, the SEC may have monopolized the Ponzi scheme industry. Right. Naturally, we'll establish a link with whom? Morgan, JP. You do realize that all of this is connected to these crooked players, right? You simply cannot make up such details. Now David Schwartz joins the conversation. This. If you ask me, this is rather strange. This is a completely erroneous assertion. And you're sure you're mistaken about this. Underwater, Starlink will not function. Once again, it is abundantly clear that the submarine cannot rely on Starlink for its communications. Right. It explains how Elon Musk's Starlink satellites will compel international maritime communication. Even stranger, this assertion is demonstrably incorrect. Anyone with would have known about it. Starlink's operational frequencies are a billion times too high to reach A according to even the most rudimentary understanding of satellite and underwater communications. Currently, it is submerged. This is all he seems to be talking about. Where is it, and what is it? The connections made below the waves. Right. Why is this guy so strange? What makes this July sub interesting is its ability to sever cables. You have to wonder, folks, what they're actually up to. Hmm, isn't that strange? Please don't think that I'm actually saying these things now. Right. Twitter users, on the other hand, are merely making random associations. Right. Because now they're saying there's a chance of a complete outage of the internet. Right. If it continues on the following tweet. With a duration of three years. I've heard that cutting wires is what causes blackouts and it makes perfect sense for a third party to do it. Right. As an alternative to NATO or Russia. Right. Guys, I really don't know. The truth was revealed to me by you. Mystery of Dying. Perspective Map, the 14th of September, 1957. Authored by David Schwartz. Right. Never drop anchor without first consulting a navigation chart. Then what? Here, in this bedroom. It's hard to predict David Schwartz. This guy made an intolerable effort to persuade my wife. The Titanic subsurge catches the breeze right at the end. Right? It appears like we are making headway in our search. When the Titanic goes down, the smaller floats that are close by will be sucked under as well. However, if left unattached, the floats will return. How come he flat out mentioned a link to tether dudes? Right. In particular when not restrained. We know that XRP is independent of tether. If so, it's on a microscopic scale, and it's not appropriate, in my opinion. Tether does not support a small number of other cryptocurrencies, one of which being XRP. What do you think? Right? And now he's in the midst of a breakdown. The truth behind the scenes. 623, be on the lookout for potential danger over the next few days. Right. Huh, that's, uh, hilarious. There is a titanic event happening today with this missing submarine, and it coincides with the impending banking collapse. JP Morgan, are you at fault once more? Sure enough, dudes. Right. I seriously have to pinch myself. 
In what appears to have been a series of clandestine get-togethers, J.P. Morgan seems to have devised a strategy to give itself control of the country's monetary system. Since the Federal At that time, the Federal Reserve System was established. Probably around the same time frame, guys. If my memory serves me well, the Titanic did go down. But if you look it up, it will come up right away. Corruption in large institutions and among central bankers and other powerful people is being exposed. Right. The truth will emerge from the darkness at the intersection of 2 and 3 indicated by the numbers 20 and 23. Now. Um. After 111 years, 2 months, and 3 days, the Titanic submarine sank, marking the arrival of a brand new type of home furnishings. Titanic is a financial boon because, once again, there are many links to anticipate. In addition, I have never experienced anything stranger in my entire life. An episode of The Simpsons, which aired from 329-1998 to 618-2023 and predicted the disappearance of the Titanic submarine from Ocean Gate while its crew was touring the ship's ruins in the Atlantic Ocean, lasted a total of 3, 302 weeks and 20 days. 3 to 2? Is it 2 or 3? Bones and skulls, fellas. I mean, what? And the Simpsons have gone and done it once more. This is just too crazy for me to make up. Guys, what the hell is going on here? Right? It would appear that he then approaches the Titanic. Right? The submarine eventually becomes trapped, though, and Homer becomes frantic. Right? Low oxygen levels that continue to drop. Guys. No more oxygen. Right. Wow. I'm out of here. What the heck is going on? Since the current submarine seems to have experienced the same fate. Right? I mean, I'm not really up to date with everything that's going on here because I only found out about it two days ago and I'm still wondering what the heck is going on. Simply put, it was spreading like wildfire. It quickly spread throughout the internet. Right. The Federal Reserve officially ran out of air this morning, therefore the market should react positively. The market might experience a black swan event, or the banks could fail. All right, let's get ready at the same time. Horrific revisions. The USCG has concluded that debris from the Titanic submarine indicates a tragic loss, and they have asked for prayers for the victims' families. I dunno, fellas how likely is it, though, that everything comes together like this? I mean, why in the world would they ever approach the Titanic? Right. This is, without a doubt, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Nonetheless, it's really hazardous. And now look at the results. Finally, I'm curious as to whether anyone has examined what 682 could link up to in order to rebuild itself. Burning down the Phoenix is the first step. On the 22nd of June, Butler. Right. Date of birth, June 22nd. Here we are. We can potentially link up with XRP here. Guys, I really don't know. Everywhere you look, it seems like something is happening. The Federal Reserve under Christine Lagarde, the Titanic, and the potential future rise of XRP. I have no idea. Let's get ready for anything that might happen. For this reason, preparation is essential. Gentlemen, you should get ready for any and every eventuality. Leave a comment with your thoughts, and as always, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. See you in the next one, bye.